Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic that bridges two tech powerhouses, Mabus RTU and fiber optics. Together, they enable the seamless transmission of real-time IoT sensor data directly on video feed. Now, whether it's for smarter industrial monitoring, architecture, or security system, this tech combo is transforming how we monitor and manage remote system. And also, we're offering free tech consultation. So if you need help for your tech project, feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So first, let's talk about how this all works. You have all the sensor data directly on your video feed. Mabus RTU is a communication protocol used for transmitting data between devices in industrial setting. It's reliable, fast, and widely used for IoT sensors. And combine this with the power of fiber optics, which transmits data as lights over incredibly long distances, and you've got a killer combination for real-time monitoring. Now imagine data from your IoT sensors, whether it's temperature, humidity, or wind speed, and it's collected and sent through the Mabus RTU protocol. And this sensor data is then processed by a video overlay device, which means it can take that information and embed it directly on your video feed. So you're not just watching a video, you're getting live sensor data display over the video. And now let's get to the magic behind the curtain, the Mabus RTU video overlay device. Now this little box is what makes everything possible. It integrates the sensor data into your video feed in real time with low latency. And the design is compact, making it easy to install in various IoT setups. And it works with different types of sensor and cameras. So whether you're setting up a smart factory floor monitoring environmental conditions on a farm, or beaming up your security system, this device is versatile and crucial for real-time video feeds. All right, so now let's get to the installation process. First, you will connect your serial sensors to the Mabus RTU video overlay device because this is where all the data come from. But first, you will go to our isolated 4-port RS485 hub. Now, this hub provides centralized control of multiple RS485 devices and also has protect against electrical searches, so it's perfect for outdoor installation. The data cable will come over here to this hub and then transmitting the data to our Mabus RTU video overlay device. And then it will transmitting the data through this Ethernet cable and coming all the way to connect with our PoE splitter. So let's plug it in. And this is an IP67 waterproof rated device. So you can use it in outdoor harsh environment. Just make sure you use a wrench to fasten it tightly. And then the data will transmit through the splitter. I'm going to use another ethernet cable to connect with it. Let's plug it in. And the data will flow through all the way to our outdoor PoE switch because you want to connect the video overlay device to the camera system. This step is crucial because video feed from the camera will now display that serial sensor data. And here is our Ethernet cable. Let's connect with it. And also, the data will be connecting with our camera. I'm going to use this Ethernet cable to connect with the bullet camera. So now we solve the problem for the data. Let's talk about power. This is an outdoor PoE switch. 
So it has PoE technology that can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. As you can see, now it's going to power up our bullet camera and all the devices out there. The Ethernet cable come to our PoE splitter and then it will split the PoE technology into power and data. So the data will go through here and the power will come to the first distribution box. We already split the power, one for our Mabus RTU video overlay device. Second, for our isolated four port RS485 hub. And the third one will come to another distribution box and power up all our serial sensors. So this is a clear, pretty clear setup. But now here's the real game changer. How do we transmit that video feed back to our control center efficiently and over long distances? And this is where composite fiber optic cable come into play. Now these innovative cables not only transmit your video feed with embedded IoT data, but also carry AC or DC power. Today we are using AC. So instead of needing separate cables for data and power, you only need one composite fiber optic cable, which greatly simplifies your installation. And compared to traditional Ethernet or power lines, composite fiber optic cable can transmit data over much longer distances with lower latency and higher bandwidth. So imagine monitoring a large industrial site or a sprawling farm without worrying about signal loss or interference. So now let's finish up our setup by using the composite fiber optic cable. So let's pretend we're at the control center. We have a router here connected to a computer. I'm going to use an ethernet cable to connect it with our industrial switch. And the data will come through this switch and to our fiber optic cable. Now, since this is pre-made, so we don't need to worry about the connector. It's super easy to handle. And it has two strings, string one and two. Let's use string one. Connect it with an SFP transceiver. So we can slide it directly to the SFP slot. So the data will come through here to our composite fiber optic cable. Let's talk about the power. This is the power supply for our industrial switch and it's already grounded. Make sure you ground everything as well as this side. Our composite fiber optic cable consists of the power cables and the grounding cable. The power cable, both positive and negative, is connected to our AC air switch. So we can provide a safety setup. And the grounding cable is already grounded as well. So all this data and power will send through this single composite fiber optic cable and nothing else needed. And let's come over here to our search protection. Now, since our setup is outdoor, so it's best to provide a safety control. Now, this is an AC air switch and this is an AC search protector. The power cable already connected through here to the search protector and coming out. And on the back, we have the fiber optic cable. Remember, we use string one. It's already connected to a fiber patch cord and it's also grounding as well. So the data will come through here from the fiber patch cord and the power will come through here to our outdoor PoE switch. So our outdoor PoE switch is actually power all the way from our control center. So there's no need more for any separate power sources at the outdoor area. The power cable is connected. Now let's connect the fiber patch cord to the SFP transceiver and into the SFP slot. Here we go. So our setup is basically completed. All I need to do is to turn on all the air switches. So first, this one, 
So the power and data will come through this composite fiber optic cable. And let me turn on the other one. Let me turn this on. So instantly, you can see all the indicator lights are on of our outdoor PoE switch. And soon, as well as our PoE splitter. So our PoE splitter will split the power to power up everything else for our outdoor area. So once you've installed everything, you will effectively reduce the infrastructure complexity. No more separate power and data lines, plus these cables are perfect for remote and challenging environment. So now let's put our setup to the test. I'm going to show you how to view the video feed with the serial sensor data on it. First, you need a Mabus RTU over video software. It is super simple. Just hit the search button and the device automatically pop up. Just double click it and it will fill in here. This is our bullet camera's IP address. The TCP port is 8899. For different brand of camera, it has different number. So just contact us if needed. And then just hit upload. So it's successfully. Let's turn to a VMS software. Just hit search. 185. So this is our bullet camera. Double click it. Connect it. Let's fill the live video. Here we go. Let me enlarge it. So we have a live video feed with our temperature, humidity, and as well as the wind speed. And I'm going to go over there to wave my hand so you can see this is absolutely a live video. And lastly, let's talk about where can you use this setup in real world. Industrial monitoring. Now imagine monitoring factory equipment in real time and the video feed show your machine running while sensor data like temperature and vibration is displayed over it for immediate diagnostics and downtime reduced. Architecture. On a large farm, you can monitor soil conditions like moisture and temperature over long distances. Fiber optic cables make it possible to cover several kilometers and all while delivering real-time data. Security system. Combine environmental sensor like motion detectors and weather sensor with surveillance system for enhanced perimeter security. And fiber optics allows you to monitor a much larger area without losing quality. And let's sum it up. You can now seamlessly integrate IoT sensors data onto live video feed using Mabus RTU. And composite fiber optic cable can simplify installation by combining power and data transmission. So you can get a long distance, real-time monitoring with minimal infrastructure. And if you're ready to take your real-time monitoring to the next level, Mabus RTU and fiber optics are the way to go and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or ideas for future videos and as always please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for more cutting edge tech content now thank you very much for joining us at fast cabling and i'll see you in our next video